we're about to configure data selection, but let's first talk about data filters. Once we tell our adapter to start collecting data, it doesn't have to send all the data it collects. A lot of the time, we won't want it to. If a value is open for three days straight, do we really need a reading from it every second? We can configure our adapter to only send data when it changes, or set a dead band for analog data. Run this command to see the current rules we have defined. Edge CMD, get data filters, dash CID simulator. This data filter is present by default. If applied, it will ensure the adapter will only send data if it has changed from its previous value, but will resend the duplicate data value if an hour has passed. We'd like to edit this default filter so users see updated timestamps for values, even if they've stayed the same, at least once every 10 minutes. We want to change the expiration period parameter to 10 minutes. Run the following command. Edge CMD, edit data filters, dash CID simulator, dash ID duplicate data, dash expiration period, quote, 00, colon, 10, colon, 00, end quote. This command edits the expiration period to 10 minutes and leaves all other parameters the same. We want one additional data filter. Run the following command. Edge CMD, add data filters, dash CID simulator, dash ID one unit deadband, dash absolute deadband, one dash expiration period six hundred. This command adds a data filter that will act as a dead band with a width of one engineering unit and an expiration of six hundred seconds. Note that the dash expiration period parameter accepts a time or an integer. If you use an integer, the adapter assumes it is a number of seconds. In the above case, we could have also used dash expiration period 00 colon 10 colon 00. In other words, if a sensor reads 10 degrees on one reading of a data item with this filter selected and 10.5 degrees on the next, the 10.5 value will not send to the egress server. If on the next reading it reads 12 degrees, the 12 value will be sent as it is outside the one unit dead band centered around 10 degrees. Now that we have a successful discovery and rules defined for data filtering, let's combine them into a data selection. We'll extract the discovery result, edit a few fields, then import them back into our adapter as a data selection. Run the command Edge CMD get discoveries dash CID simulator dash ID pumps dash result dash file quote C colon backslash class files backslash OPC UA pump data selection dot CSV close quote Dash CSV. Open that file in Excel. Let's make the following changes to this spreadsheet. First, sort the spreadsheet by the stream ID column.
for all rows except the streams involving the word underscore system, change the values in the selected column from false to true. Select the stream ID column and use the Excel Find and Replace feature, Control H, to remove all mentions of two dot simulation examples dot in the column. Set the values in the data filter ID column for all streams to one unit deadband. Note, the stream ID column contains how the items will be named in the egress side, in our case the tag names on the PI data archive. And the node ID column must correspond to the name of the item on the data source. Once complete, save and close the spreadsheet. Run the following command to import and apply our configuration. Edge CMD set data selection dash CID simulator dash file quote C colon backslash class files backslash OPC UA pump data selection dot CSV close quote dash CSV. Navigate back to your Notepad++ window to watch the log file. You should see messages indicating the data selection was successful and a history recovery was attempted. Our configuration has been applied, and a history recovery would have been attempted, although none of the tags on the OPC UA server support this, so it didn't start. It looks like the adapter isn't complaining, so we're probably reading data successfully. We'll confirm this in a later lesson. In this video, we configured a data filter and then configured a data selection.